Welcome to A to Z Nursing Blogs. This video is a short narration of the historical review of midwifery. Let's dive into the video. Midwifery is as old as the history of human species. Archaeological evidences of women demonstrates the existence of midwifery in 5000 BC. According to Bible, there are references to the midwives in the Old Testament. The book of Genesis, chapter 35, verse 17, says that, And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, Rachel, it is another boy. Here is an evidence of a midwife in the ancient times. The king of Egypt spoke to the midwives, who helped the Hebrew women when they gave birth. They were the first midwives found in the literature. Here we have a pictorial representation of Shifra and Puah, the Hebrew midwives, according to the biblical verse, Hixodus, chapter 1, verses from 15 to 22. Hippocrates, the father of scientific medicine, organized, trained, and supervised midwives. He believed that the fetus had to fight its way out of the womb. Aristotle, between the year 384 to 322 BC, the father of embryology, described the uterus and the female pelvic organs and the essential qualities of the midwife. Soranus, in the 2nd century, was the first to specialize in obstetrics and gynecology. His book was used for 1500 years. He used vaginal speculum, advised on cod care and wet nursing. In the year 1513, the first book on midwifery was printed in Germany based on the teachings of Soranus. In the year 1540, the book was first translated into English. The great artist Leonardo da Vinci made anatomical drawings of a pregnant uterus. Ambroise Pare, he laid the foundations of modern obstetrics. He performed internal podalic version and skillfully delivered women. He also sutured perennial lacerations. He founded a school of midwives in Paris, France. The next person, Louis Burgoyne, recommended induction of labor for pelvic contractions. Vesalius, in 1543, opened a full-term pregnant uterus in a lower animal, extracted the fetus and demonstrated the uterus as a single chamber organ. Julius Caesar Aranzi, he wrote the first book for Italian midwives. He advised a cesarean section for contracted pelvis. French King Louis XIV, in the year 1663, employed a Paris surgeon to attend one of his mistresses in labor. He honored him with the title Arcachier. The French Arcachier built a school of midwifery. Maratio was the greatest physician in 17th century. He described the attitude of the fetus in the womb. Chamberlain, in the year 1675, designed the obstetric forceps. William Smelly is called the father of British midwifery. He explained labor as mechanical process. He introduced pelvimetry, cephalometry, and the lock for the obstetric forceps. In the year 1772, John Leakey replaced the obstetrical stool by specialized bed. Charles White in 1773 stated that puperal fever is infectious and he used lime for disinfection. Fielding Ault, between the year 1710 to 1789, described the normal mechanism of labor and performed the first episiotomy. Francois, in the year 1818, was the first to recognize the fetal heart sounds in a pregnant uterus. Young Simpson, in 1847, used chloroform first for the obstetrical anesthesia. Florence Nightingale, in 1862, organized a small training school with King's College Hospital, 
where she conducted training for midwives. Semmelweis, in 1861, demonstrated the cause of puerperal sepsis and suggested preventive measures. Louis Pasteur, in 1879, wrote the thesis on puerperal sepsis. The first antenatal clinic was started about the time of First World War. The French obstetrician Murashiek first reported the cesarean section in the year 1668. In 1876, Poirot performed subtotal hysterectomy. Max Sanger, in 1882, first sutured the abdominal wall. In 1912, Kronik introduced the lower segmental vertical incision. Mundro Kerr, in 1926, introduced the present technique of LSCS and popularized it. Let's see the development of maternity services and the current trends. Following the Reformation in 16th century, the Church of England accepted the responsibility to issue the license of midwives to practice. The chair of midwifery was created in Edinburgh in the year 1726 to give the instructions to the midwives. A course of instruction were given to the midwives throughout Britain and some hospitals issued even certificates. In the year 1756, Dr. John Douglas recommended that proper instructions to be given to the midwives and an examination to be held before certificate to practice was given. The Ladies Obstetrical College London was founded in the year 1864. In 1902, the first English Midwives Act was passed and state registration of midwives became mandatory by law. From the year 1700s to 1800s, the time of rapid development took place. In India, maternal and child health services in India were started with the help of voluntary organizations. Modern maternal and child health work was begun in India by foreign missionaries with an effort to train the dyes. The timeline RS follows. 1885, an association for medical aid by the women of India was established by the Countess of Dufferin. 1918, Lady Reading Health School was started in Delhi, offering health visitors course which was another stepping stone in the MCH services. 1921, Lady Chelmsford League was formed in India for developing maternity and child welfare services. 1931, the Indian Red Cross Society established MCH Bureau in association with the Lady Chelmsford League and Victory's Memorial for Scholarship Fund and coordinated the MCH. Madras was the first state then to set up a separate section for maternal and child welfare in the public health department under the charge of an assistant director of public health. It was again Madras state which first attempted to replace by the better qualified personnel such as midwives and nurse midwives. 1938, Indian Research Fund Association was established which formed a committee that undertook the investigation into the incidence and cause of maternal and infant morbidity and mortality. Sir A. Mudalaya was a key person for this committee. 1911, A&M programs were introduced. 1931, CMAI Nurses League was introduced. In 1946, there, there was two boards of nursing education. Number one, the Mid-India Board of Nursing Education. Number two, the Board of Nursing Education. INC constituted in 1949, STDs of Nursing Education. 1940s, rooming in, 1960, obstetric care to maternity care. The trends in maternal health nursing. Changing patterns of childbirth and their effects on maternal infant mortality statistics, perinatal risk factors, technical advancements. The current problems and challenges that, that are faced widely are decreased length of hospital stay, higher patient acuities, lack of facilities in the rural areas, changes in maternal newborn nursing, family-centered care, labor delivery recovery and postpartum care, LDRP, mother care couplet care. If the contents of this video are informative, like the video, share this with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.